Hey guys, we're here at the Community Central uh, in front of this amazing wall back here that you can see. And I have a very special guest here today, Rohan. Thank you for taking your time to Hey, uh, thank you, Catherine, for inviting me. And you've had a busy day so far. So right. tell us about what you've done today. Well, we had the general session that I delivered on the data platform and in the modern data estate. And so there's a lot of preparation that went into it and you know how all the nerves come together right at the end, but it went really well, so that's good. Yeah. And do you still get nervous? You've presented a lot. <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, it's always like, you know, the night before, you just want to make sure everything is fine, the demos yeah. go well, and there's always, man, what if I forget to land that point? And, but no, I think it's, uh, yeah, so I do get a little nervous. Yep. But it sort of helps me get, you know, prepared for the event too, so it's good. good. And we did have a great announcement today. So SQL Server 2017, general Correct. availability on October 2nd. Yes. So can you give us like your top three features coming out with this version? You know, the biggest thing, of course, is that it runs on Linux, it runs on Docker. You can orchestrate it through Kubernetes and other, you know, such environments. Um, what I'd say is, you know, like just the, the biggest thing for me really is just that. Like the fact that you can now run it in different environments, the CI CD pipelines, the Docker orchestration. In terms of key features, you know, there's graph, there's, you know, integration of Python, native integration, which allows you to sort of build deep learning applications. There's work that we've done with uh, adaptive query processing. There's work that we've done with, uh, I'm sure I'm missing something and I don't want to upset somebody who worked on it. We have SSI as an ADF. SSI as an ADF I is a big with one. SSIS, you know, so absolutely. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, I was going to talk about that in the ADF ones, but yeah, you know, uh, and. Essentially, I think, you know, even just the automatic plan correction, you know, it's a subsequent step to QDS. Yeah. That's actually a big one. And there's like hosts of stuff that, you know, we, I didn't cover today, just given the time. But, you know, like we support compressed lobs in column store now. You know, that's that's an example. But, yeah. Very so graph support is something that I'm pretty excited about. And, you know, of course, the Python integration, yeah. Absolutely. And it's, it's kind of fun for me watching this from the outside, kind of how you bring that intelligence and AI into the SQL Server engine. Sure. How's that been like for you working on that internally? It's been great, actually. I, I mean, the, the challenge was pretty, it was a pretty significant challenge. I remember when we did most of the work, frankly, in SQL Server 2016 for this, we essentially built out this extensibility architecture that allows us to run, you know, at that time, at 16, it was running our scripts natively inside the uh, SQL Store procedures. And so based on the same architecture, we sort of have enabled Python. You know, the challenges over there were like, how do you ensure that the security compliance requirements, et cetera, you know, the, the role-based securities and things like that, like how do you maintain low privilege access? And our, our essential goal over there is to eventually create a environment or a, a platform where developers, any third-party developers in any language can add additional value or data that's stored in SQL. That's the vision. Very cool. So we might see more languages yes, coming absolutely, in. Yes, awesome. absolutely, absolutely. very cool. So let's talk about Microsoft Ignite. Mm -hmm. So how many of these events have you done so far? Oh, well, like Microsoft Ignite, I mean, several like of them so ed. far. TechEd, Microsoft yeah. Ignite, of course, SQL Pass, and, uh, and you know, we have uh, like Data Amp, Ready, and those. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, Ignite's probably one of the biggest ones that we do as a company. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's exciting. I mean, I don't know, close to 30,000 people. Yep. Is that, at least that's what they were expecting. And uh, it's just so huge, you know, when you walk into one of these conference centers, it takes forever to go from one place to the other. But, but it's also great to see the excitement, you know, like you come and you see the vibrancy, everybody wants to learn, everyone's excited. You know, this whole digital transformation is sort of message that Satya and Scott spoke about and how that ties into the core of the company. That's resonating really well. You know, I actually believe data is at the core of it, of course. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah, and you know, like even I remember, you know, at, during the session I spoke about how People who work in data in these enterprises really are at the core, at the heart of this transformation. And so it's a great opportunity for all of us to lead. Absolutely. And um, what kind of sessions are you looking forward to? Or what would you recommend to our uh, you know, attendees here at Microsoft Ignite? You know, if you're a SQL Server fan, there's a lot to do. But you know, even you know, outside of that, I'd say, you know, there's great work that's happened in you know, Cosmos DB and Azure Functions integration. There's great work that's happening with Azure Machine Learning Services and you know, how they work with SQL Database. As, you know, I'd say basically go to the SQL Data Warehouse one where they talk about the optimized compute tier. And ADF has practically reinvented itself, you know, Azure Data Factory. And that's actually great. I think that, that team has done a fantastic job of listening to customer feedback and really changing the game. So I think, I think uh, those sessions is what I would go to. Absolutely. 
And then um, finally, for you working on the data platform, uh, being here at Ignite, there are, you know we're covering the entire Microsoft right. stack. Uh, is there anything that you like to go and learn more about that you kind of don't work with on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, it, absolutely. There is like a lot of work that's happening on the infrastructure side to make mm -hmm. Azure one of the best platforms. You know, to sort of like lift and shift your applications. I'd love to know more about that. You know, definitely on the AI side is something that I sort of peripherally work with, but yeah. really trying to understand. You know what. You know, like with Azure Machine Learning, and especially the work that's happening in Harry's world, how they're pushing the boundaries over there. I'd love to learn more about that. You know, Azure Stack is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I sort of know about Azure Stack, but I'd love to know what their plans are and you know, go forward and see how we can partner with them to land SQL DB. Yeah. So you learn a lot at Microsoft Ignite as well. Absolutely, awesome. absolutely. And then are you going to Universal on Thursday? Oh, I don't know what is happening at Universal on Thursday. Oh. I'm actually, so I, I won't be able to. I'm flying back on Wednesday morning. Oh, that's yeah. sad. It's the attendee party. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I need to be back. This, you know. Well, you're busy doing all this work. So, well, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us here today. Thank and, you so much uh, for having me. You know what? Um, is there any way, if people have any questions, can they reach out to you? Absolutely. You know, Rohan K, R O H A N K at Microsoft.com, or my Twitter handle is at Rohan K SQL. So, you know, please feel free to reach out. Anyone who likes SQL or any of our data platform products, I'm a huge fan. So, go for it. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great week here. Thank you. You too. Thank you.